Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, in this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the HTTP request methods for handler method in a Spring Framework. So you can specify uh, HTTP methods uh, that is supported by the handler method by using the method property of at the rest request mapping annotations, right? So when you use this annotation before the handler class or before the request handler method then you have opportunity to specify the HTTP uh, method right so if you look into the um, this request method it's a enum and you have a different kind of uh, HTTP methods over here so let's talk about the each and every methods so first of all I'll talk about the delete so delete is basically used to delete the resource identified by the an, e, an URI HTTP, HTTP uh, specification wise delete operations are item potent if you delete a resource it's removed on the successful deletion and returns the uh, status 200 with ok message in the response body right so basically in normal scenario when you have a web web based application and that is basically created for the human consumption then basically you have a only get and post request right so basically when you submit a html form or you submit a some query parameter right that becomes the part of the url that is visible in the url then you would get uh, http method get right and uh, in the but get has some limitations if you have a you have to uh, send some kind of uh, attachment uh, as a file or uh, image or some binary data then uh, get is not uh, capable to do that in that case you will have to use post post has much, much more capability uh, than uh, get right so if you want to submit the huge amount of data then get has certain limitations right get get basically sends the data through the url itself and url uh, uh, URL is having uh, some uh, fixed length right if you go beyond of that then get is not capable to send uh, those data to the server right so in that case we will have to use post right and whatever data you send through the post that becomes the part of the HTTP body so that will not be visible in the uh, URI right so these two methods basically when we use when you create a web-based application and that is designed for the human consumption uh, but if you are you are using restful web services right and uh, restful web services uh, there may be a consumer or uh, maybe a producer suppose let's say suppose if you have a producer so you create some restful web services and you do you post on the somewhere on the network right and uh, consumer of these web services uh, uh, maybe some other application they want to uh, get some resource information from your uh, uh, live web services right then they can use get uh, method is we get method if you, they want to create some resources on the your web service which you deploy under then they can they may use the post uh, method so let's this this is the high level concept but let's go through the each and every method so i as i have talked delete is basically used to delete some resources on the uh, uh, server side right when you use restful api then delete comes into the picture and this is item potent means if you are calling this method more than one times that that is not making any harm on the server side right now let's talk about the get method in more detail get method is used to read or retrieve a representation of resource uh, in the happy or non non error path get returns a representation in the xml json or or any other format and http response code uh, with 200 ok message in an error case uh, it most often returns the 404 or not found resource not found or you can say uh, http error 400 with bad request according to the design of http specification uh, get uh, along with head if you call get then internally head head method also gets called right so head is already included in the uh, get so head is nothing but that that's the header information get method already holds the header information so so as per the specific specification http specification get along with head uh, requests are used 
only to read data not to change the resource on the server right this is just a, specific, a specification but that totally depends on up to you when you use uh, you get method then inside the method uh, what kind of code you are going to write whether you want to delete some resource or uh, re read some resource information that up to you right this is just a, a specification nothing like a it's, it's a rule that someone is going to force you right now let's talk about the head right head retypes the all resources in a collection or you can say header only the head method asks for the response identical to the identical to the get request but without the response body this is useful for retrieving the meta information written in the response header without having to transport the entire content now next i would like to talk about the uh, a put method right so we have a put http methods and put is mostly often utilized for the update resources on the server so if you want to re update some resources some resources already existing but uh, if you want to update that resource then you may use put but i have seen in the many projects people we are using put method to uh, create some resources on the server side but uh, as per the http specification we should use if you want to you update some resource on the server side in case of the SQL web services then we uh, go for the put method right now next we have a patch so let's talk about the patch method as well so patch is used for the use for modify capabilities the patch request only needs to contain the changes to the uh, resource not the complete resource this resemble, resembles are very much similar to put but the body contains a set of instruction describing how a resource currently residing on the server should be modified to produce a new version uh, this means that the patch body should not just be a modified part of the resource but in some kind of patch language like uh, json patch or xml patch now next uh, we have already talked about the delete and uh, now options right so basically options returns available http methods and other options now finally we have a trace method http trace method so trace method echoes the received request so that a client can see what uh, changes or additions have been made by the uh, intermediate server right in your application you may have a more than one server so if you want to echo uh, received requests uh, so that you can see the what changes or additions have been made by the inter intermediate servers that you can see by the trace method so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys and uh, this this video is more and more theoretical uh, rather practical so when you annotate a method request handler method with other request mapping then you have chance to uh, select any http methods but uh, when we work with the spring mbc then most of the scenario we are going to select either get or post because right now we are creating the web based application that is for human consumption but uh, when we will try to learn we'll, when we will go to learn uh, rest controller so here we have uh, something is called controller then when you integrate restful web services with the spring framework then you have a, a one more annotation is called rest controller and rest controller says this controller is serve the purpose of restful web services controller right in that case we'll see uh, huge cases of get post put and delete right so basically we perform the crud operation using these http methods so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial